Today, I'll be showing you how to make a good looking realistic muscle flash. So here, I got this clip of me just shooting, I'll just show you. Yes. First, let me just state, let me just give you some tips on how to shoot. Make sure your recoil is not that strong, so the force when you pull back the gun, is not that strong. Just make it like, yeah, like that, that's enough. And we're going to be adding some smoke, light, and shells. So let me show you first. So let's track our muscle flash here. I'll put the link in the description for the for you to download if you don't have. So we're going to find this spot where you shoot. Yes, there you go. Now, press Alt, bracket close, so we can have only one frame. Like, yeah. Not position your muscle flash if it's going sideways I use the 3d layer so you can change the direction in 3d which is there you go okay so in here we're gonna position our you can position on how you want them to be just uh, be creative on your own Yeah. So after you finish positioning your muscle flash, then we're gonna edit some and we're gonna tweak some of the settings to make it more better. Just gonna cover that. So let's have, let's have a look. Wait, just uh, wait a minute, guys. Still rendering. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yes, there you go. That, that's enough. Now, uh, let's just scale a little bit higher so you can get a better. Right there. Now, what you're gonna do is you, you wanna have a glow. So let me just give some glow. Glow for the muzzle flash. And let's make the glow threshold higher. The glow radius a bit high, high, and the glow intensity also a bit higher, uh, high, higher a bit. Oh yeah, I also forgot to change the normal mode, the blending mode to screen or add your choice. So yeah, now. Let me show you on how to add uh, like a glow, big glow. But before that, uh, because this flare is not that, it's too sharp. Uh, let me put some blur there. Give a fast blur if it's too sharp. But if it's not, then you're okay with that. So I'm gonna put a fast blur here. And then put it like that a bit. Yes. And I'm gonna drag the opacity a bit dark. There you go. Now, uh, to to make the glow, uh, the big like the light around them, uh, duplicate your your muscle flash, uh, Control D or Command D. Now go to Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, drag it to your muscle flash, and delete the fa and delete the fast blur. Now press Shift and make it until it's now now you see the difference, right? Make it into like it's a bit visible around there. Make it higher, make it bigger, scale it up. There you go. So if you look at here, you see the. There you go. Now it's the smoke. Wait, before the smoke, I'm sorry again, guys. Let me just. We're gonna have the light around this person, the, the shooter. I'm gonna duplicate our video. Make it the one frame again, uh, as the same place as the muscle flash. Then what you're gonna do is go to your uh, pen tool, then mask around some the surroundings. So just mask around the surroundings, including your yes. Okay, there you go. 
Nothing happened. It's okay. Now we're gonna go to normal, uh, the running mode, change the screen. There you go. There's a light. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feather it a bit because there's the sharp edges. I'm gonna make it to 250 something like that. Now you can see the difference. There's a light there. So now if you see our footage, there you go. There's the light. Let's make it a bit feather higher and lower the opacity down about like so. So now you see it. And render it there. There you go. Uh, let me just. Sorry, guys. Uh, make a uh, the the mask a bit uh, longer. So because the muscle bus is big, now we have to make it uh, like the light broader to other surrounding also. I'll adjust this. You don't need to do this if you think that your light is already okay in the same in a good position. Then just use that. I just like. This okay. Now, after we did the light, now what we're gonna do is the smoke. How to get smoke? Well, I'll also put a link for you down there so you can get it for free. Let's put here. This is actually I done it from film riot smoke. So let's choose which one is the best. There you go. I'll choose that one. Just find it until it's done. Then I'll break it. Now we're gonna go to here. Make it one frame after finish. Now we're gonna go to the branding mode and change it to screen. There you go. Or maybe put it in the same place. I'm sorry, guys. Now put it here, put in your muscle flash. To be clear, let's just take one frame of the blackness so directly to the, the smoke. Now, we're gonna make the smoke a bit, the turn the opacity down a bit, so it's not that visible. There, make it a bit uh, larger. So we have to and the opacity demos again. Now, let's see what happens. There you go. So you hear the smoke. It's fast. Since this muscle bass not as uh, just smart again. So we get the... There you go. Make sure the flash is a bit a bit bigger than the I mean the smoke a bit bigger than the muscle flash, so it matches. Now after the smoke, also the the light. What we're gonna need is not the shells. The shells will be in here. So I'm, gonna, I'm also gonna put the link in the description below. It's actually stock footage from Accenture Essentials. Just gonna drag it here. There you go. Now we're gonna need until here. Okay. Now this is the see it rotates like that. Now we're gonna make it smaller a bit. Start smaller. Then put it right on your. So I'm gonna rotate it. Right there. Now you can see it. Now what we're gonna do is change the position. So uh, put a keyframe on the first. Make sure it's in the first. Then go back uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six frames. Then go there. Down. There you go. Oh yeah, make sure to put here right, right, uh, right, uh, the, the first keyframe, right click, keyframe interpolation, change it to how to be easier. And, oh wait, sorry guys. 
Damn it. Change it to linear. Wait, guys. Um, anyway, change it to busier. There you go. Busier. Now, you're going to make it a bit higher like that. There you go. I'm sorry for that misunderstanding. And also for this keyframe, busier. For this one, make it a bit higher also. So now you see it. You see that bullet. One last thing we need is to put the for the to put some motion blur because the toggle switch is mode if it's not in here. Then right click the uh, press this button the motion blur. Yes, if you see wait it's not done. Don't forget to also right uh, click this for the composition of the motion blur. The composition. Uh, let's see it again. There you go. Uh, for the light again, if you think, if you need to tweak some par parameters again, don't worry, just tweak it so you get more of the light again. If you if you didn't see it a lot, you just wait. That wasn't it. This way. Okay, let's see it again. There you go. That's how you make a good muscle flash. Then just put your sound effects and done. That's how you make a muscle flash. So let's there. One. Of course, if you're done with the muscle flash, give them like a film look on it, something like that. To be more fun. Yes, so that's how you make a muscle flash. A realistic muscle flash, that's very easy. That's kind of boring. Okay, let me just give you two guys of the. Make the bars to make it better. Uh, anyway, I'll also show you how to make the white screen bars. Like a film block here. So first make a solid into a black solid. Okay. Then make another solid. But change the height until this. If you look at this, two three five. Two three five. Change until it's two three five. Press OK. What you're gonna do? I'm gonna go to the toggle switch move again. Press this trackman for the bottom solid into alpha inverted mat black solid two. What do you get? A white screen bar. Like, like the Hollywood films we used to see. That's... Yes. Yes. Then also, if you're done, also color grade your footage to make it better. There you go. And also guys, don't forget to put your sound effect because that's what makes it more also realistic. Yeah. I'll be back in a second to put on the muscle flash. Okay guys, <clears throat> so I've added the white screen bars. I've added some sound effects. And I also added some color correction in it. And also I did uh, added some of the muscle flashes. Wait, what happens? Okay, whatever. Anyway. I also add a camera shake. Uh, I use the camera shake from VFX Pro from YouTube. They they as, uh, they gave free downloads to make a cam a camera shake preset. And I also added some uh, added the muscle flash to make it bigger, so it looks more realistic. And make the light here more brighter, so we can see it. So let me just show you again that right now. So all set, this is the final product. So from the sound effect, I use this gunfire and also the shell casing dropping because of the shells. So that's it guys, 
thank you guys for watching um, I hope you learned a lot from this and yeah I'll see you again for another tutorial sometimes let's just see one more time it's so fun <laughs> yeah thank you guys bye